Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to finally be sitting down and filming today. So it's been like five months since the last time I actually sat down and filmed a makeup video. Actually probably longer than that because I think the last one I did was um, with my friend Sam that we, that we did together. So it's been a long time since I've sat down and done a makeup video just by myself. Um, I know I just filmed a video like last month just a little life update on why i have been kind of absent recently um and it's just because you know since july i've been going through a lot of stuff but now i'm here i'm back um really want to start getting into this again um putting content out on a more regular schedule and really getting back into it so i'm just gonna apologize in advance for any background noise because i'm in an apartment now and I have the downstairs apartment. So I have upstairs neighbors now um, that are not always the quietest. So, and also I have um, Lady and the Tramp playing in the background for Clark to watch to try and entertain her and keep her busy so I can sit down and film. I don't really have anything planned for this video. I just got home from work and I wanted to sit right down, jump right into filming and just do a makeup look. So here I am. So I feel like um, I feel like headbands used to be like a thing with makeup videos. Oh my god. So I feel like headbands used to be a thing with makeup videos. Um, I don't know. Like people would always have these weird headbands in their tutorials. I don't know. I feel like it used to be kind of a thing, and it's really not anymore. But I'm bringing it back for today because. Come on, why not, right? And it's cute. And like I was working all day and my hair was just back and a little scrunchy, like, I don't, I don't know. My hair's a mess, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna use this. So I think that today I wanna do a little bit of a smoky eye. Um, I did this eye look on Thanksgiving with my family and it was, I like didn't even plan or anything, I just kind of, started doing my makeup and it happened so I hope I can remember exactly what I did but anyway so I think it would be a nice look for like you know New Year's Eve or something if you're going out like it would be so cute so I'm gonna try to redo it again and just hope that I can even remember what I did so I'm just gonna take my eye primer And today the eye primer I'm using is put a lid on it from the balm. One of my friends got this for me for Christmas like a while ago. Like probably shouldn't be using it on my eyes still. It's probably, it's time has probably been up, but whatever. I know a lot of makeup has like, you know, an 18 month shelf life or something, but um, I, know, I just feel like I spend so much money on makeup and don't go through it fast enough because like I don't do my makeup for work because I'm a nanny like I'm with children all day I don't need to be dressed up and all cute because like why would I um so I really only get to do my makeup like on the weekends if I'm going out and doing something or um when I do get a chance to sit down and film like I want to um, so I just, I don't use, I don't use a lot of makeup, I don't go through it very fast, but I spend a lot of money on it, so if I actually followed, like, you know, throw this away after 18 months because it's not good anymore, like, no. I'm just gonna be disgusting, and that's just, that's just my truth. I don't care. The stuff that I use a lot, like mascara and like eyebrow stuff like i don't know i go through that fast enough but like eyeshadows and stuff like that like i don't know i don't really know how long you're supposed to keep them for how long they're good for but i'm just gonna keep them till they're gone because unless it's like 30 years old because who has the money to replace all of that not me not me all right, so I'm taking my Morphe 350 palette, and I'm going to use 
probably this color right here just to set my eyelid i would normally use this one but um you know i've been tanning and stuff so it's like too light on me to set my eyelids now like it just looks kind of ridiculous Perfect. All right, so next I'm gonna take my MAC 224 little brush and I'm going to go in with these two right here. Just kind of, you know, go back and forth and then I'm gonna put those in my crease. I feel like the lighting is much better here at my apartment. Like when I used to film at my old house, um, my bedroom had the worst possible lighting. Like there wasn't even an overhead light. So I had to rely on my little desk lamp that I have on my vanity um, and the natural lighting. So in the winter, obviously like there's not really any natural lighting. Um, so my videos were always super, super dark when I would film this. So I love the lighting here, like it's so much better, I think. Plus, I got a new phone, and I just like, I film on my phone. They had, I think, had the iPhone 7 Plus before, and now I have the iPhone 11 Pro. So, hopefully the quality looks a lot better, because I think it does. Maybe, like, maybe it's just me, but I think it looks a lot better. I'm still gonna use the MAC 224 brush for a quick second and I'm going to go in with this color right here and just add that to my crease as well and focus it mostly on the outer part of my crease. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this little Morphe brush and go in with this color right here and then this one down here as well just kind of mix those in and i just want to take it right on the outer corner of my eye and just kind of start blending it into my crease but also starting to create that smoky eye Okay, so really, I'm gonna focus on like all of these really dark browns down here. Um, I'm not really gonna do anything specific. I'm just gonna bounce around between all the really dark browns and keep kind of trying to create that smoky eye a little deeper. I mean, this isn't really like a tutorial, so I'm not gonna be too specific. I just wanted to sit down and film a look for you guys, so. I mean, I'll give you the general idea of what I'm doing, but I don't even really know what I'm doing, so. Alright, and then just blend it out with the MAC brush. Next, I'm going to take this Makeup Geek palette. Um, this is a few years old. Um, it was the Makeup Geek and Manny MUA collab. Um, I really don't use it that often. I really only use it when I want this specific color that I'm going to use. And it's this one right here. It's called Insomnia. And I love this color because, like, just the way that the light's shining on it, and depending on the angle, it looks like it's so many different colors. Like, you know, you don't really know if it's like brown or green or red, like it just, I don't know, it has all of these colors in it and I love it because it looks, it just looks different at every angle and in every lighting. So I'm going to take that same little Morphe brush 
I'm gonna go into insomnia. And I'm just gonna pack that all over my lid from the crease down. So I'm pretty happy with how that looks right now. I do want to go back in with the Morphe 350 and take this really, really dark brown right here and blend that into this a little bit more. Just give it a little bit more definition. And I'm going to take the MAC 224 brush one more time. Um, I'm going to go in with this color right here and just kind of blend everything out once more. Sorry, Clark's making weird noises because I'm not giving her attention. So now I'm going to do the rest of my face. I'm going to take this little Tarte um, Rainforest of the Sea primer. I just got this mini bundle with like all these different Tarte samples. Um, but I actually do really like this primer. It's really hydrating, which is nice because I get dry skin in the winter pretty bad. Um, it actually hasn't been too bad this year yet, but my skin usually tends to get a little bit drier in the winter, so I like this. And I'm also going to take my Benefit Professional Primer because I can't do my makeup without this. That was cute. It just exploded everywhere. Anyways. I got way too much because I just like flew out of there, but whatever. I definitely got way too much on here, so I'm just going to put it all over my face. I usually only really focus this primer on my cheeks right here because my pores are pretty bad and it actually does help a lot. Um, we're putting it everywhere today. My skin has been pretty good lately, and when my skin is doing really good, I don't like to put a lot of makeup on it. So usually I use this Neutrogena like tinted moisturizer that I get at Walmart. Um, I also use it in the summer because it's really light. Um, and this is a little bit darker of a shade because I'm usually more tan in the summer when I'm usually using this. But it's all gone. So I have to use my regular foundation, which is too light for me right now. So I'm going to have to mix it with something else. But it is the Fenty Beauty Foundation Shade 120. I'm only going to use a little bit of that. Like a pump. We'll see if I need more. And then I have this little like foundation tester thing from Sephora that's a little bit darker. I don't even know what the heck it is, but... I'm just going to mix a little bit of that into my foundation and hopefully it'll come out the right shade. We'll see. It's not that bad, honestly. You know what, honestly that worked out pretty good. Congrats to me on my mixing skills. I'm just going to take a little bit of this Becca under eye brightening thing. Put it a little bit under my eyes because my dark circles don't play games. I just put that right on with my finger because I don't care. Okay, so next I'm going to take this Morphe brush 
and my uh, Laura Mercier setting powder and just kind of dust that all over my face. Maybe a little bit. We don't want to look cakey. <laughs> Can you guys hear how dramatic Clark is being? She keeps growling at me because I'm not playing with her or paying attention to her. I promise she gets plenty of attention, just not at this moment. So I am going to take my mini beauty blender and go into my setting powder a little bit. Um, just for the underneath of my eyes. What happened back when we were kids? Just a boy and a girl, it was us against the world. Guess we grew up and people fall apart, but you didn't have to take everything we threw. We're just gonna leave that there for a little bit while I do my eyebrows and stuff and let it set. If you don't look like a crazy person, you're probably doing your makeup wrong. Next, I'm going to take my Anastasia Brow Wiz in shade Blonde. Brush these brows out a little bit that need done so badly. I'm just gonna shake them out. I did not realize, like, I knew that my eyebrows needed done, but I didn't realize how badly they needed done until I started doing them. Yikes. Then I'm gonna take my dip brow from Anastasia Beverly Hills, also in the shade blonde, and do the rest of them. I know you guys probably can't hear it, but I did say that, um, I'm playing Lady and the Tramp in the background for Clark to watch, which she's sitting in my doorway doing. She's like sitting in my doorway watching the TV in the living room. Very into this. But anyways, if you've seen Lady and the Tramp, you know the Siamese Cat song playing right now, and it just, I don't know, gets me. When I was growing up, I had this like Disney CD, and it was a... I don't remember what they called them, but it was a mix CD of like different songs from the different Disney movies. And the song was on there and it used to creep me out. But now anytime I hear it, I'm just like, it's got a good beat. It just makes you want to dance, you know? I don't know, maybe it's like a little jingle bells in the background. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to go look up the Siamese Cat song from Lady and the Tramp because it's a boss. So we'll leave for the next Not the best, but it's fine. Now I'm just gonna brush this stuff away. Lit. Does anyone say lit anymore? I just felt gross for using that word because I like haven't heard it used in a really long time, except for maybe by middle schoolers. So I feel like it's not a thing anymore. Is lit still a thing? Someone let me know. But, all right, so next I'm gonna take my butter bronzer. You guys know it's my favorite. If you don't have it, go buy it for yourself. Do yourself a favor. I'm just gonna use this little Morphe brush. Contour my nose. I don't know, I feel like some people when they contour their nose, you can really tell like it makes a huge difference. I don't feel like it makes a huge difference on me, like I can tell a little bit, like, but I don't know, just the way some people contour their nose, like it's such a dramatic difference. I don't feel like it looks like that on me. I don't know, maybe I don't need it wrong. Maybe I don't need a heavy nose contour. I don't know. I don't know if I usually share this in my videos, but I usually contour my neck a little bit. I don't know, I feel like it just kind of, I don't know, I don't like when people like do their makeup and they just put foundation on their neck and don't really do anything else. Like, if you're gonna slim your face out with contouring, like, I don't know, just drag it down your neck a little bit too, bring the whole thing together.
I seriously haven't filmed in so long, like I can't even remember half the stuff that I tell you guys about damn, about um I don't know, things that I like to do with my makeup or don't like. I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's been a while. Dang girl. Everything we build with it's like you never really cared. Put it all aside because you're a coward and you're scared. I guess I understand you never understood. Just worry about yourself. It's the only thing you could. I guess that things you put on the Okay, I'm gonna use two blushes today because I love blush. Um, I'm gonna use this NAC Warm Soul. Um, I bought this when I was in like high school, so this is also very old. <laughs> I feel so nasty, like all my makeup is old, but you know what? Nothing serious has happened. Like, I don't know, my face is fine, so not doing any harm like why not you know some people are gonna see this and probably talk smack about me using blush that I bought in high school but I don't care anyways I mentioned that I had bought it in high school because that was before I knew that Mac wasn't a cruelty free brand so now I no longer buy them I only have like two like four things from Mac I have this um highlighter and a lipstick and like a primer um this blush color is really pretty but you know what until mac is cruelty free i ain't buying it not anymore oh and then i'm also going to take this two faced one um this it's the sweetheart's perfect flush blush i'll tell you guys i love this because it has like three different kind of tones in it it's a little more, what's the word? I don't know. It's got a little bit more sparkle in it, which I like. So like these bottom two shades, not so much, but the top one is a little bit more sparkle in it. So I usually put that up close to my cheekbones or like at the top of my cheekbones, like where I'm gonna highlight. Just give myself a little color. And then sometimes it does a little bit on my nose just you know, just to make it a little rosy. But I'm gonna try and highlight with one of my Jeffree Star highlighters. Um, I know that I've told you guys about this before, about how all of my highlighters from Jeffree Star get like, I don't know, this nasty like, film on them. I don't know, it makes me mad so I don't use them that much. And I haven't bought any highlighters from Jeffree Star in like years because it just ticks me off. This one is the best of the three that I have, it has like the least amount of damage to it. Um, it's called Eclipse. It's from the Manny MUA collab, which we all know what happened there. Highlight under my brow bone, in the corners of my eyes with this little brush. Um, I don't remember if I've ever, ever said this on my channel before either, but I hate highlighting with fan brushes. I don't know, like, if that's your thing, like, a lot of people do highlight with fan brushes. I just eat them for whatever reason. I, I don't know. Fan brushes aren't my, not my cup of tea. Now the curtain's slowly closing now. So did you get everything you need to get of me took me like I was free well it must be hard just to face all the facts well karma's a bitch and I know she'll be back but I'm not even mad I'm better than before I guess if love is lost see so like you can see it but it's not as blinding as I was as I would like it to be um you know I feel like Jeffrey's highlighters usually are you know like they're good Jeffree Star makes great products just the highlighters i don't know for me they get that like film on them and then they don't work as good as i would like them to so i don't know next i'm going to take this this one reflects really bad it's the sleek makeup highlighting palette in solstice and i'm gonna take 
I'm gonna take this shade right here. I'm holding it upside down, but it's actually, there's like no good way to hold this. This one. And I know that I've mentioned before that this is my favorite highlighting palette. And that if you don't have it, you need it because it is blinding. Look at that. Yes, ma'am. So I'm just going to go back in quickly with my Morphe 350 palette. Take a little brush like this that's got like, I can't think of a word. It's got like a straight end and the brush is kind of like hard. I don't know, it's not soft. And I'm going to take this color. My palette's upside down. I'm gonna take this color right here and put that on my lower lash line on the outer corner and then blend it with this lighter color right here just so that it blends into the outer corner of my eyeshadow really nicely. My left eye is watering so badly right now and I don't know why. Maybe I spoke too soon about nothing ever happening to me from using old makeup. Then I'm going to go back with that Makeup Geek palette and take the same shade that I used on my lid. Just because I love the shade and can never use enough of it. And drag that along the rest of my lower lash line. Okay, and then I'm just going to put on my mascaras and, and then lips. So I first always use the Benefit Roller Lash and then this tart one. This look would probably be way cuter if I had like, you know, a cute outfit on and not the sweater that I just nannied all day in and if my hair was done cute, but it's still a really pretty look. Girl, let's... So yeah, so the highlight is good. I really like this eye look. Um, I think I've mentioned before, I never really do eyeliner on myself unless... Um, unless I'm wearing fake lashes, my eyes are just really small and kind of an odd shape and I just don't like the way the eyeliner looks on my eyes. I don't know. I just think, you know, with my eyes being as small as they are and the shape that they are, doing eyeliner doesn't really complement my eyes that well, in my opinion. Um, so I only ever really do it if I'm doing lashes. You could really do any color with this, I feel like. Um, Especially because that eyeshadow, like, I don't know. I don't know if you can really tell in this lighting, but if you're, like, if you actually have it, like, in front of you, like, there are just so many colors in that eyeshadow. Like, it's beautiful. Since I'm not really going anywhere today, I'm going to do a fun color because I never really do. I like to play with colorful and bold makeup looks, but I don't know. I'm not confident enough to wear them in public. Um... I don't know, I just don't think that I have like a big and bold personality, so I don't know. If you know me, like, I'm not a big and bold person, so my makeup reflects that when I'm going into public, but I'm just sitting in my apartment by myself for the night, so I'm going to use Vixen by Kylie Cosmetics. It's really dark and not something that I would regularly wear, like, out. Just a boy and a girl, it was us against the world Guess we grew up 
been people fall apart but you didn't have to take everything we built with it's like you never really cared put it all aside because you're a coward and you're scared i guess i understand you never understood just worry about yourself it's the only thing you could i guess that things change you put on the new face i see through. what was i supposed to do i guess that things change you put on the new face i see All right, so I know this lipstick looks like black in this lighting, but it's a, it's a very, very, very deep, dark purple. Like the darkest plum that is out there. Um, it is really pretty, but like I said, this is just, this is nothing that I would ever actually wear in public. Um, but it is really pretty and does look really nice with this eye look, so I'm happy how it looks all together. So in college, my friend Steph, like, she has a very, if you know her, like, she has a very big and bold personality. So in college, like, she didn't really know how to do her makeup very well. So if we were ever going out anywhere, she would have me do her makeup. And it was just so fun to play on her because, like, she has the personality to match those looks that I would never do on myself if we were going somewhere. So then, like, you know, I got to create that look and actually have it on someone to wear out in public and have people see. Whereas normally, like, I would do that kind of stuff by myself in my room and no one would ever see it because, I don't know, it's just, I just, I feel so uncomfortable um, having people see me in bold makeup looks because it doesn't match my personality really. But anyways, I really like how this looks. I'm super happy with it. Like I, like I said, this would be a beautiful makeup look for like New Year's Eve or something. So that's it. I hope you guys like this video and this look. And I'm so, so glad that I finally got to sit down and film again. It's been so long and it feels so good to finally do it again. Um, and it wasn't even that weird like jumping back into it. I was afraid that I was going to be nervous again because it has been so long, but like, mm -mm, not at all. I could just sit down and jump right into it. So that's good. But yeah, I hope you guys like this look. I hope you like the video. If you do, make sure you like the video. Um, leave me a comment. Subscribe to my channel. Share it. And I guess that's it. So I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.